kids are in bed. Hold on, I have a quiet house. No one is awake. Bill's at a meeting. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cooking alone. Music on and my favorite thing in my hand, red wine. I got home on the later side today. Actually, I just walked in the door. Um, because we picked up a boatload of parties for this weekend, which I thought January was gonna be like super quiet. I'm excited about it. But I'm actually excited and we're gonna make a bunch of different stuff that this weekend, because I got busy, I figured they're gonna need stuff. So we're gonna prep out some stuff. Um, so let's get cooking. I don't know about your family, but marinara, pasta, should I say, pasta with marinara is a staple of this household. And I didn't bring any quartz home from work, so I'm gonna put a quick pot on and get some meatballs and sausage salad. Getting the meatloaf together. Um, I look for not a dry consistency, but a little bit, this is too wet. See how this is like kind of still mushy? It's gonna end up cooking out and falling apart. So we're gonna add a little breadcrumb. 20 minutes into it, I will cover it with ketchup. Um, I called it the American meatloaf. My husband loves it, I love it. I had it at someone's house one time, I asked their mother what their secret ingredient was, was the ketchup. Um, I didn't list all my ingredients because I don't wanna give you all my ingredients in my meatloaf because one day when my boys are older, I want them to say to their wife, my mom made the best meatloaf and there's just one ingredient. I can't put my finger on it and I know what it is. So they always come back to me. Over there, I have the meat. We're gonna get ready to do some meatballs. And I just opened up my cans of tomatoes. There is no secret, these were on sale. That's why I'm using this brand. Um, and actually, hold on, I think it's ShopRite brand diced tomato I'm using over here because they were on sale. We're gonna get, uh, I think the onions, let's check. Onions and garlic are all sweated out. We're gonna add our tomatoes. Meatballs are all scooped out. Now you can be like your grandma, old school Italian, and fry them up in a cast iron pan and scrape all the tidbits off. Uh, I'm gonna bake, bake them in the oven. Um, one time, easy cleanup. Number two reason, a lot healthier. Um, like I talked about the turkey meat, I just wanna cook a little healthier at home for my kids. So the trick is I have my good old Kirkland like cooking spray. When they go, before they go in, I spray the top, I sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese. They crisp up at 400, no problem. Ooh, hands free might be easier. So we're chopping some cilantro for our turkey taco mix. Washed it, towel dried it, and now just running a knife through it before we add it to our cooked mix. Just like those lettuce wraps I made the other day with the water chestnuts. Um, like I bought big lettuce for myself with this and the kids just throw in a tortilla, a little shredded cheese, sour cream, and I always have pico made because I'm in a job like that. So they can always just make a quick taco for a snack. Take the meatloaf out halfway through and good old fashioned Heinz ketchup. I drained some of the fat from what was already on the pan and I'm gonna coat this like this. Woo, crazy. And smear it with spatula before I put it back in the oven. Here we go, spatula, smooth it out. Go back in the oven for another 25 minutes. Next, something that I do not skimp on the fat is gonna be our chicken cutlets. Who doesn't love good fried chicken cutlets? Crispy and golden brown. So, chicken cut them into cutlets. I season it with salt and pepper in here. This is one of my secrets when I make them. This is eggs and heavy cream. It really helps the crust on it become nice, light, and fluffy. And then, these are breadcrumbs. They were the plain ones. I seasoned them up with parsley, salt, pepper, dry oregano. I do not put Parmesan in these breadcrumbs just yet. I put the Parmesan when the cup that comes out of the fryer nice and hot so the cheese melts right on. So let's get these babies coated. Passing the chicken in the egg mix and the heavy cream. Strain it out a little, right in the bed crumb. Coat it really nice. And then I have a pan ready to line them all up on because I'm gonna get the oil on nice and hot. So we're gonna do that again. Chicken cutlet, and normally I'd have a wet hand and a dry hand, but because I'm trying to do this on a video, and I haven't made it yet on the Food Network. Just frying up some onions. Um, some of that sausage I made earlier is gonna go obviously into our pot of sauce. 
but I'm going to keep some separate and make like sausage and peppers and onions. So it's just gonna be caramelized onions, so we're gonna get these going. And over here, our oil should be ready. I have a little piece just to test. We are ready to go, let's start frying. One trick uh, is ready to be prepped out. Have your sheet pan with paper towels to dry them. I got my chicken cutlets here. I'm gonna take them and always lay into the pan away from you so that no splat happens and you do not get burned. Also, like you saw me in the beginning, I moved my pan handle there. And that is because, God forbid, I turn around and I hit this over and everything ends up on the floor. So. Safety is really important in the kitchen, and I make sure of that while we're, especially when we're cooking at home. Kids are in bed right now, but even me, I don't feel like getting burned tonight. So we're gonna get these going around four and a half minutes on each side. Fried chicken cutlet. In between it all, I have been peeling garlic, and the best way to store it, mason jar in the fridge, just like this, then all you have to do is pull the cloves out as you need it. Super easy, super fast. Pulled out the first batch, and like I said earlier, I add the Parmesan right now when they're hot. I've added Parmesan to my breadcrumbs and fried before, and what happens is it almost becomes like that burnt flavor because the cheese fries up and kind of sticks to the oil and just doesn't come out good. So if you just add the Parmesan like this, at the end when they come out nice and hot, the flavor is amazing. So the meatballs are out. <laughs> and before I add them to my sauce, I stole one. Um, took them out of the oven. You can see that they crisp up really nicely and they weren't fried. They are were baked in the oven and they're delicious. I know it looks like the pico I just did, but this is the bruschetta version because this is basil. Same tomatoes, um, I quarter them. Balsamic reduction instead of the vinegar because I wanted to like coat the tomato. Olive oil, salt and pepper. You know, when you're at a restaurant and you read fancy words on a menu and some people don't know what it means, like my husband the other day, we were out and he read chiffonade basil. He's like, what is that? And I was like, well, there's a choice the way they cut it brown or get bruised. So I'm gonna show you. So you get fresh basil and you wanna pick it and you wanna stack the leaves like this. And then you wanna roll them over the back of You wanna roll it like this. And then you want to take a knife and it's one slice for each time. And you want to go nice and thin. And then, let's see your number. And then, you have basil chiffon. Super thin, because basil bruises so easily. This way, it doesn't, and it looks beautiful on a plate. And I actually love basil, like, I eat it like this all the time. So I'm going to throw it just like that into our bruschetta that we're making. Guess what I just pulled out of the oven? Meatloaf! Ma! Where's the meatloaf? Um, so I'm gonna let it rest for probably half an hour. The other day I was on here and I posted about like meal prep and having things done and quick and that's kind of what I was on there for today. Um, but today was really sheer enjoyment. Like I came into the kitchen. It's not a Sunday. I mean, I know I'm going to be busy this weekend. I actually should keep checking in to Chef Kova's page because we have three cooking classes going on this week in the kitchen, plus a big party on Friday, a party on Saturday. So lots of cool little things will happen and you can get ideas for yourself. Um, but I love coming on here just to kind of chat with you guys and give you an idea of tips and things you can do at home. At the same time, a reality check. The other day I was on here um, and I was talking about like prepping out and getting things kind of ready here. Let me put this down for a second. And today's whole video was at a sheer enjoyment. I came home. I know I'm going to be busy this week, so keep checking in because we have a couple different cooking classes going on. We have two parties on Saturday, one party on Friday. So if you kind of want to see what we're doing, get some ideas for yourself, check in. I mean, that's my goal here with doing this whole Instagram thing is to give you guys ideas and help out at home, like meal prep, dinner, kids shit, whatever I got going on, I'm hoping to help. So today, like I said, was sheer enjoyment. I was in the kitchen, I put my McGraw, my floor and Georgia wine was on in the background. I poured my glass of wine, maybe it's my second, 
this is a judgment-free zone, and I just cooked. So we made sauce with meatballs and sausage. Well, all we gotta do is cook pasta during the week. We did extra sausage with caramelized onions, so I bought fresh bread, threw it in the freezer in a Ziploc, so all we have to do is make sandwiches, chicken cutlets, endless options. Can throw some extra sauce on it, mozzarella, make chicken parm. We can just cut up and make a chicken fingers with ketchup, and we have the turkey meat for turkey tacos, for snacks, or dinner, or whatever you want. Ground turkey, seasoned, ready to eat. Um, I cook and clean for a living. I chose to cook and clean for a living. Culinary school is great, and being chef is unbelievable, but my job is to literally cook and clean. So when I get home, I wanna make it easy, and that's all I was trying to give you, a little insight on my life, on how I make it easy, and what goes on in my real life at work. You guys always see it, because I post it, because I wanna be on here and share it with you. So. This Sunday, this past Sunday, I made that fresh mozzarella. It was a hit, you loved it. If you wanna see something, tell me and, uh, or message me and I'll make it on camera. I don't care if it gets messed up or if I do it right or wrong, we'll make it happen. So, have a good night, everybody. I'm gonna go finish my wine and do some dishes. Wah, wah, wah. The worst part about cooking, the dishes. But we'll bang this out real quick. Spotless Kitchen, coming your way because I'm a complete control neat freak.